Somebody said once, who would want to kill him? Another person said, we'll ask anyone who met him. Steve Nipper Ellis is a former gangster and one time associate of the Essex Boys. He met Patrick Tate in prison in Chelmsford in 1990. On their release, the pair began a mutually beneficial friendship. They were an empire of crime. Credit cards, dodgy money, um, selling drugs, robbing drug dealers, um, all the good stuff. Nipper once counted the trio as friends, but his memories of them now are far from fond. Tony was a bully, Tony was a piece of shit. Uh, Craig was his little gopher, his little Joey mug. And Pat, when they started doing coke together, injecting it, they were like birds of a feather. They went downhill together. They, they had begun to take their own drugs, um, and that had in turn, from the people we've spoken to, they, they changed character, particularly Pat Tate had changed his character quite dramatically and was becoming quite violent. Ellis's relationship with the Essex boys soured after he made a crude sexual remark about Tony Tucker's girlfriend. Tucker responded by coming to Nipper's home, sticking a gun to his head and threatening to cut off his limbs with a meat cleaver. And he, he just looked at me and he went, your hand or your foot. So I was thinking, if you cut off my foot, I can't chase you. I'm left-handed, so I held out my right arm and I thought, I shut my eyes, I thought, I'm going to cry, I'm going to scream, it's going to hurt, but I'm going to kill you. True to his word, Ellis set about hunting down the trio. By then, the word had gone out. Two people had gone to my dad and phoned, one phoned me saying, oh, they're going to get your sister, they're going to kidnap one of your sisters and cut the fingers off. So, I, I just basically it was a mess. One night, he arrived at Pat Tate's house armed with a handgun. All I knew was I had to empty the gun into him, just bang, 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 that's all I had to do. Nipper squeezed the trigger, striking Tate once in the elbow. He screamed. <laughs> Which, as a friend of mine said, wouldn't you with a big lump of red hot lead in your arm? So. Ellis received a 15 month prison sentence for possession of a firearm following the shooting. Tate lived until December 1995, when Ellis says his late father Sid finished the job. Next morning, phone's rung, it's my dad. He just kept saying, they're dead, they're dead. And I was just worried what he'd done. And he said, don't worry. He said, I'm okay, no one knows. Uh, how I felt, best thing in the world. McKelvey has interviewed Ellis and says he's found no evidence to corroborate his claim his father killed the Essex boys. After